And we also heard yesterday that this is really the topic we need to engage in, the greatness of the Creator. The question is, with regards to the advice of the Kabbalists, how to engage in greatness of the Ten, uh, of the Creator in the Ten? Well, it's clear to us that only according to the greatness of the Creator we can make actions of bestowal. An action of bestowal is that we... I don't just give, but I enjoy giving. Meaning there's an additional work for me here. And it's not that I enjoy the, the fact that I give, and therefore I give, perhaps, in order to get pleasure out of it. Rather, it is completely a separate thing, my, my giving and my joy from giving. This requires thinking. How many conditions we have here that are seemingly not connected to each other even though they accompany each other. So, by the society, as a result of studying, I begin to have an importance or an urgency to reach bestowal. And I think about it. And this is expressed in better appreciating the friends, starting to see myself as serving them, not holding to everything with my ego in the group, in the ten. Rather, I want to see myself more as supportive, helpful. I don't mind about advertising my own name here. I just want them to succeed and, and so on. There's many sub steps here. Until I actually get a deficiency for bestowal. When I begin to have a deficiency to bestow, this is a question. What is bestowing here? Bestowing in order to receive? How do I bestow here? Out of what desire? What do I want by bestowing? And here there's also work, scrutinies to do. When I look into it, I start seeing that I don't really know what is my motive here. What drives the will to bestow in me? The Creator awakens a desire in me and I do it. I do it because I want to. Perhaps without knowing what's the reason. But I do it due to the pleasure I have in that. Otherwise, how would I think about it? How would I see it? How would I do it? Because everything requires energy. So, if I want to make any action of the stole, it indicates that I get some payment for it. Maybe I'm unaware of it, but I do. And bit by bit, I start discovering that my action of bestowal, even in the group, in the ten, is because I have some reception of pleasure from it. Even though I'm not drawn to that reception of pleasure, it's not standing right there, clear in front of me. But I'm still working thanks to that. 
And then I begin to to further clarify it. If I work for the sake of pleasure, unknowingly, then how do I do it? Because clearly I have to get pleasure. I have no choice. I'm a created being. I'm a machine that works with fuel. How do I make it so that this fuel will not be for my own account? What's the difference if I receive this fuel just to work? just to bring contentment to the Creator, or I receive pleasure. And that's why I bring pleasure and bestow to the Creator. So, this needs to be clarified. And after I clarify it for certain, and I can differentiate between receiving pleasure for the sake of action, and receiving pleasure for the sake of enjoying it and making an action of bestowal not in order to receive pleasure but in order to actually bestow after that I have another action where I have to actually enjoy bestowing the Creator but that is after I have detached myself from the pleasure where I can seemingly bestow without pleasure except as fuel just to receive fuel and then bestow and now I begin to work on the pleasure after I'm personally detached from that pleasure of bestowing and then I come to equivalence of form with the Creator just like he bestows giving to me, he enjoys bestowing to me I will enjoy bestowing to him there are many different states here of course we're not exactly feeling ourselves in these states yet but we should think about it and hear that this is what we're going to have to scrutinize.